What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can see, I got the E46 right here. And it doesn't look like much, but it is starting to take shape. Uh, we got the headlights on there, we got the hood, we got the fender. So I ended up going with the GTR hood. This is one of the hoods that I've always liked. And I actually wanted to do something like this with my E36. But the opportunity came. Originally, I could have I could have paid cheaper if I would have held off for the original hood. So I ended up paying about double the cost of what I would have normally had paid, um, just because obviously shipping and everything. Um, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to get a factory hood in time. So locally, a hood just popped up. But at the same time, I'm a lot happier with this. I like the vents. I like the carbon. So I'm going to be leaving this exposed. And then everything else is going to be getting wrapped. I think the sides are going to be exposed as well. So you can tell that it's carbon over here. I am a little bit in a rush when I'm making this video. So um, I got to take the car to the shop right now. The guy's waiting on me. I figure I might as well record this. I know I said I was going to give you guys a update. And if I don't give you guys an update right now, then um, it's going to be a while before you guys get another update. So um, it might not be that much longer, but um, I am going to take the car to... The shop uh the guys actually i know i said that i was going to show you guys the process and everything but i'm caught up with work and everything else like personal life that i really wanted to take my time with that doing this and then i mean at this point me buying the materials to weld the, the equipment to do the tag welding sealing it and everything is going to cost me about the same as if i were to just to pay the guy to do it so we do have the bumper the m3 bumper here which i was able to make work it's not going to be the greatest but it's going to work for the time being i am going to be getting a different set of over fenders that are going to work a lot better with this bumper but for right now once the flares are on um, i'll show you guys and i'll explain everything after but um, i did message somebody and he gave me some tips on how to uh, get it to fit better but like i said i will talk about that in another video i'll put his instagram on here so you guys can go check out his car if you want we got the M3 side skirts that you guys already saw. We got the M3 rear bumper. We're gonna be getting the flares uh, when we get the car back. They should be on there. I am not molding them to the car. Um, once again, like I said, I'm doing a different set of over fenders. So for the time being, just for the show, because I wasn't gonna be able to get them in time. I think it's about a two week wait. I mean, two month wait. Um, we're just gonna be doing hardware. I'm gonna try to do the least amount of hardware for now. And then, um, that way so it's not as visible but obviously you're gonna see it anyways so here we got the m3 mirrors now i gotta figure out how to wire these up with the newer ones i think they switched to a ribbon connector which i think i mentioned in the previous video so it's a little bit more complicated and i'm not sure what to do about these just yet but we're gonna rock them for the show um i think i'm gonna get them painted gloss black just get them like a refresh and then uh, we're gonna get the License plate holes shaved off the front bumper and then we're going to shave off the PDC sensors. So I'm going to have the guy shave these off so it'll be completely flat because there's no point I'm not running PDC. So so the bumper did come with holes which I'm not a fan of so he's going to cut this out, fill it in, uh, fill these holes in as well and so it'll be completely flush. So it's going to look way better than that. There's a lot of details that, that I want to show you guys but like I said I'm in a hurry. I gotta get the car over to the shop. It's 7.30, I was supposed to be there 7.30, but luckily I'm not too far out. This is how it looks without the flares. So this this side of the bumper actually fits a little bit better. I just gotta readjust the bracket over there. Um, we're gonna get this fixed. And um, once I tighten up the bracket, it should fit a lot nicer with the flares. So we're gonna be in good shape. Also, I am having an issue with the headlight, which I'm pretty sure it has to do with the wiring. Man, it's been like a month since I drove this car. Oh, great. The battery's dead. Oh, just what I needed. Well, I'm going to have to jump start it. All right, we got the jump box. So let's go ahead and see if this thing starts. Yeah, I'm always late. <laughs> There we go. See, so let me show you guys. One of the headlights doesn't work. Yep, so the passenger side headlight, I mean the driver's side doesn't work. So we gotta figure that out. Good to go. Put that. 
gonna put this in the description if I remember. So if you guys don't have one of these, I really highly recommend that you get one. It lets you uh, charge your phone with a USB plug-in as well. So very convenient. All right guys, so my dash is looking like a Christmas tree, but um, I guess I gotta do the front uh, brakes or it's probably just the sensor that went bad. Headlight, you already know. <laughs> Winter fluid is out because we drained it. I gotta plug it in and refill it. Um, service engine, I already know what that is. Kinda. Nothing, mi nothing major, but something annoying. All right guys, so I actually decided to hold off on putting up the video and then just waiting till we got the flares on the car just because it didn't really make no sense for me to just upload a video talking to you guys about me dropping off the car to the shop. So here we got the flares on there. So I'm using this hardware because Miguel had it laying around and I just wanted to see how it would look. But I'm actually going to be ordering from the same company. Um, they have some smaller ones that are more flush and they're actually going to be black. So it's going to match the color of the car a little bit better um as you guys saw if you guys follow me on instagram the color it's going to be on the darker shade so i'm going to go with black hardware instead of the uh, stainless or silver whatever it is and then like i said it's going to be a little bit more flush so we ended up i ended up having the guy just put it um, as spread out as possible to where it would hold so i think that looks good enough um Obviously, I don't think this is going to be the final outcome. It is going to look different once it's wrapped and all in one color. But um, for the time being, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out which over fenders to run. The ones that I'm looking at are actually going to start from here. They're going to go up all the way up over here. And then, give me just a second. Also, this heater has been a lifesaver in this cold. It's been 20 degrees outside. Um, and if it wasn't for this, yeah, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be working on the car as often as I was. But anyways, so the quarter panel, um, over fender, it is, um, it goes all the way up to this body line right here. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. All right. So it goes down to this body line and it comes down to here, cuts, I think it wraps around a little bit over here and then just follows this line and then stops right here. So it's going to be a full panel that obviously is going to require a hardware up here, up here, um, maybe one up here in the middle, one here, one there. So it's very minimal as well. And then this part of the flare, it's going to be like the M3 as well. So it's going to be fully molded. And instead of you seeing the hardware here, it's going to be up there. So I think it's just a matter of preference. I am going to be trying to use the M3 trim, which is going to be sitting right here. I do have it. I'm going to be replacing this one for the M3 just so it can match this part right here. Um, if you notice the differences, the 3 Series um, non-M kind of bulges out and the M3 is just completely flat. And I know some of you guys were waiting on the actual process of this car and uh, I hate that I wasn't able to do it. It's just, I mean, I'm so tied up with certain things and I didn't really feel like spending so much time on getting these fitted myself with buying the equipment at this point and then trying to get it done all by the show. If it wasn't for that, then yes, I would definitely do it myself um, just so I could take my time and then make sure that I do it right. But um, I will have a link in the description down below for you guys. So. You guys can follow, look at that process. It's pretty much the same thing that was done to this one. I gave him the link so he could take a look at it. So he pretty much did everything the same. So you can tell right here, he ended up painting this so you couldn't see the body of the car. So it looks better in black so it doesn't stand out. And then he cut it right there. This is kind of where it stops. And then it just kind of started going up and then he sealed it and everything so once i put the wheels on and it's not sunken in so much you're not going to see any of that anyways um but i'm still playing around with the fitment on this bumper we didn't get to fix this i actually forgot to tell him about it which i guess i might end up having to take the car back but i'm going to do that once i take care of some other small things myself so um i think i've talked quite a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to Throw these wheels on because I'm 
eager to see how the car looks with the wheels on there. We're going to remove the uh, fender flares, I mean not fender flares, but the uh, uh, fender liners and then wait for me to source them from uh, an M3 or just have to order them new because these things are pretty expensive for the M3. And then I still got to do a little bit more sanding work. The guy at the shop did, it, did most of it, but I still got to go back and uh, either fill these in or sand them down a little bit more. Fender liner is sagging because I do have to jack up the car from that side to get to some of the, uh, I don't know, I think it's like a cross member bolts. I, I gotta get two out and um, so I can remove the last one that's holding on this stupid fender liner. I swear these, these gotta be the most complicated fender liners that I've ever taken off. Usually the cars have the bolts right here on the side so you can easily access them. Freaking BMW got them tucked in between the side skirts. Um, underneath the cross member brace, it's a pain. Anyways, yo, look at this. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah, look at the back. <sighs> yeah, that's good. So, actually, gotta drop the brake. Um, oh, oh, man, just dropped. So. It looks like I'm actually going to have to lower the car because it's a little bit too high for what I wanted. Um, the front, yeah, oh yeah, the front's gonna have to go lower and the back. I think I'm gonna have to max out the rears. I can actually take out the uh, spacers and everything, the clips that it has, but, um, not the clips, but the rings. I can actually take those off and drop the car even more but I don't think I want it that low, uh, just yet. <laughs> but uh, I really didn't have that much room left. And this is sitting way higher than I expected. So I'm thinking it has to do with the flares. But aside from that, I mean, even if I were to rock it like this, even just drop it a little bit more, it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> like, then I won't really have to worry about rubbing issues at all. But, I do gotta say that having the wheels on here makes the car look way better already. <laughs>